Hey everyone, what I would like to do in this video is show you how you can record PlayStation 4 gameplay through your PC or laptop using OBS and the PlayStation Remote Play feature. Now, recording gameplay footage from your PlayStation 4 is actually quite simple. There's a share button here and you can record a short video or you can stream live. Now, I don't like doing that because, yes, I've done it a lot. It's fairly easy to use. You just click the button, but the PlayStation 4 webcam is terrible and generally it's just a very poor experience and the quality at the other side isn't very good. What most professional streamers do on Twitch and YouTube is to use a game capture card and that is really what you want to do if you want the best quality and you know the best quality is ultimately what you want. But I want to show you a different option and, and as you can see I'm recording my whole uh, desktop here and that's, you know, it's a 34, I think it's 3440 by 1440, so an ultra wide, so that's why it's in a little bit of a funny resolution, but hopefully this will allow me to show you everything that you need to do to set this up, and it's actually very easy. So this is uh, the Remote Play page on the PlayStation website, and you can see here Remote Play on PC and Mac, set up instructions, and then, you know, essentially what you can do is you can use the Remote Play feature on your phone, you can do it through the Vita, and you can do it through PlayStation TV and PlayStation TV is no longer being pushed but it was available at one point and it was too expensive but you can actually pick up a little bit cheaper now and that's another option that you can do. Uh, PlayStation TV would allow you to stream uh, and capture your PlayStation 4 footage. Uh, you would still need a game card though, that's the only problem with that. Now there's a set of instructions here for, for Mac and Windows. But essentially what you have to do here is download an application and you can see it here, this, these are the steps and I was really surprised at how easy this was. Um, so basically you need to switch on your PlayStation 4, you download the PlayStation 4 Remote Play app on your computer. Now I'm going to show you that in a second, then you connect your Dual 4 controller. Um, the alternative is you can use like a wireless PS4 adapter that you need to buy but I'm happy using the USB cable if I'm honest. And then you launch the app. That's it. That is all you have to do. Now, if you have OBS open and then you launch the app, it doesn't look too good. It, it kind of messed up. You have to launch the app and then OBS. But I want to show you that in practice to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I have connected it already. I went through the steps. Um, but essentially what you have to do is you go to your, your PS4 and you'll say Ent add new device. Um, and there's a video about this, I think it's at the top here, there's a video about this and it just says add new device and it gives you a six digit code and you enter it to this part here, PS4. Now I've did that already, it's very easy to do so you know it probably isn't worth showing you but um, I just want to quickly show you, even though I said I wouldn't, um, essentially what you need to do, step two, you go here and there you go, add new device. So if I play this for two seconds, add device, there you go. That's essentially the only thing that you need to do. Uh, and once you've done that, you enter the code here when you set up the app. Now there's, there's a few settings here, it's very, very basic. It's got your resolution, 1080p, um, and it says there, um, if I switch back, if I can get it, um, it says for the CUH series PS4s only. So I'm, I'll stick to 720p, I've got the original PS4, and then it's got the frame rate. Um, and then it's got some other settings there, and you don't really actually have to do anything there. Now, what I do next is I click Start. So, you're going to see this starting now, and what I'm going to do is, where is it? I've set up in there, so there it's there. Now, it actually wasn't too bad there. What I had before was that when I started the app, it would show my mouse going everywhere, so what I was doing was launching the PS4 app first, and I'll turn that sound down a little bit. Um, I was launching the PS4 app first and then OBS because sometimes OBS it was just showing you the, the mouse going around. But essentially that's all you have to do. Launch OBS and you launch your app. And you know as far as responsiveness goes, as far as responsiveness goes, and I'll, and I'll try and get both of these side by side so I can show you what is going on. So you can see the way that I've set it up here, the left hand side the OBS, I can record, I can stream, it's very easy to do. Um, I've got my webcam there, um, and I, I mean I've got OBS set up so that I can show my webcam, I can show browsers, I can show my whole monitor. I've got it all set up for recording and for streaming. It's very easy to do. 
But you can see, you know, as far as responsiveness goes, it, it, it's okay. I have found sometimes it's a little bit slow, it's a little bit jerky eh, with things like that. Now, I'm, I, I can maybe go in and show you a game or something, but then that means that someone will steal the video monetization. That's always what happens. But I don't need to actually show you that. Um, maybe I should. But, um, you can see it there. So it, 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 it's actually quite responsive and it's not as slow. Now, my PlayStation 4 is actually downstairs right now. Um, but that's, you know, really all there is to it. Now, as far as the, um, as far as OBS goes, you can see I've got my webcam set up. Um, I've got audio capture. So what I've done is I've set, um, I've set it to capture, or oh, should have I captured it there? desktop audio so I should have it to set up capture a uh, desktop audio um, and that will capture desktop audio so you have to make sure that you capture desktop audio for uh, your PlayStation 4 this um, here is just capturing a, a window so you go to window capture and then you would capture um, if I do this here you can see that I've got an option to put PS4 re remote play there and that's all it is that's all I have to do. Just make sure you add the window and then make sure you capture the audio. You capture the audio for for this. And then you can you can stream. Um and, and as I said, you know, it, it's fairly responsive. Um I've actually not played this game yet. I downloaded it with PlayStation uh, with the PlayStation Network. And you can see it comes up some buttons here as well that you can you know, kind of just shortcut for the buttons. Now, you will still sometimes get the message. You see, like, that gameplay recording currently paused. Well, yes, that's not allowing me to record directly through the PlayStation, but I'm going through OBS so I can record. It's not going to stop me from recording. Um, so, yeah, this is it. I'm playing my PlayStation through my PC, and I'm also recording at the same time. I could be streaming this. I could be recording this. Now, obviously, I haven't configured this yet. I'm going to do a live stream about this or a video or something about this soon. I'm going to actually play some gameplay. Um, but right now, all you have to know is that it's very easy to set up. And yes, I, I, as far as the audio goes, you can see the audio here. And I wanted to show you this here because it wasn't bouncing around earlier. But when it's on this part, you wasn't you wasn't uh, you wasn't seeing the the audio output capture so you wouldn't have been seeing the audio jumping up and down here see this part here audio output capture now before it looked like there was no audio actually being recording but um being recorded but if i click here you can see there uh, down here you can see the audio is being captured and that fundamentally is what you need to do you load up a remote play you download the app you connect it um, and all you have to do is enter the code, that's all you have to do. You enter your settings and you launch OBS. Make sure that the PlayStation 4, I've, I've renamed it PlayStation 4 Remote Play, but essentially all you have to do is add it as a window capture. It will capture this window. Now, be aware, if I have to, you know, if I decide to resize this window, it's going to mess up that. It is going to mess up that. So if you do that and you end up with really big borders there, what you can do is go out and you can launch it back again. And you'll maybe see what I was talking about earlier as in, see like this. See if I start it now. Sometimes I found it was going a little bit funny and it was capturing the, the mouse and all. So see now. Um, okay, that's still doing that. What I want to do is do that and then hopefully I can I'll go back to a normal one. Now, that's kind of went to a funny resolution now. I need to fix that. Um, now you can see that the mouse is going crazy and it goes back to what I was saying before. If you find it doing something like that, open up OBS and when it comes back, you know, it will look better. Now, obviously, I need to try and fix the screen again, get it at the better resolution, get it, you know, where there's no really any borders. But you can adjust that and you can adjust the audio. And again, as I was saying, make sure you capture the desktop audio. You can see the audio is jumping up and down there. Um, that's all there is to it guys so there might be some of you wondering why don't you just record directly well again as i said the webcam quality is really poor and well 
you know, it, it's a pain for me because I would have to bring my PlayStation 4 up the stairs and I use it downstairs. I use it for Netflix, I play FIFA, I play other games with my friends and it's a pain to have to bring it up and down. This solves a big problem for me. Now, as I said, I do think that if you want it, the best quality and the best quality is a must, use a game capture card. Don't use remote play. For me, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I can keep my PlayStation 4 downstairs. I can play my PlayStation 4 upstairs. So, you know, if I'm skiving from work, I can do that. But from a recording point of view, all I have to do is set up remote play. And as you saw there, I've got it closed down. But as long as my PlayStation is on, I just load it back up and it loads right away. It loads uh, instantly. Um, and if I load it back up here, it will load, it will load back up. So I hope you've all found this video useful. If you've got any problems with it, please do leave a comment below, but you should be okay. And again, this is what I've seen before. If you load that up, you need to uh, load that up and then load OBS. When you go back in, it seems to reset it. Um, and then you can use that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope those of you who are looking to record gameplay on Twitch or YouTube or somewhere else, hopefully you will find this useful. This is useful just capturing footage but it's also uh, useful for anyone who wants to game online as you can see you get better audio with your your pc setup um, and yes things like this game capture cards are very useful but i like the idea of doing this remotely and um, the only thing i would say and i've probably not shown you that yet is sometimes i've found that the colors can be a little bit washed because the, you know the the bit rate is coming from downstairs upstairs but um it hasn't been a major problem Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found the video useful and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.